A Milledgeville woman living with a rare form of lung disease is getting a new home. 41 NBC's Kenley Hargate has more on her condition and how the community is trying to make her life easier. 23-year-old Whitney Boyd is a survivor of cystic fibrosis, a rare lung disease that makes it hard for her to breathe. She was diagnosed with the condition when she was a baby. Four years ago, she received a lung transplant. Since August of last year, she's in, been in the hospital. She spent 80 days in ICU at Emory. After multiple hospital stays, she will be able to recover in a new home thanks to a donation so she could be closer to her doctors. We got in there and started ripping things up and realized there was mold. The insulation in the ceiling and the walls was green from mold. So we've had to gut everything. Felicia Kassan is a family friend who is leading the renovations. People and companies have also donated time, money, and resources. 15-year-old Gage Chambers has been working since Friday to help get rid of mold and dust. He has spent many hours putting in windows. I feel really good, I mean, because this is something that God wants me to do, I feel like, and I'm just trying to accomplish what I need to get done so that way she can be here and just get what she needs to live comfortably. Gage and Kassan have put in long hours, but with the deadline approaching fast before Boyd gets released from the hospital, they still need more volunteers. In Macon, Kenley Hargett, 41 NBC News. Whitney is expected to be released from the hospital on Monday. Her family already told her about the donated house and we're told she can't wait to move in.